Uh, I'm too beaten up. Ow. Nope, I uh, I half did now. <laughs> ah, <laughs> but Kenis and Chen Chen seems to be alert, even though their ears are still a bit ringing from being stunned. <laughs> For Kenis, he they he they just wall up his helmet. <laughs> tong 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 tong. Oh, his ears stunned. are ringing. Ah. <laughs> okay. You can hear some what uh, people shouting as if arguing. Towards the the sun. The way. So. So. Yeah. Oh. Towards that. Uh, I I I'm, I get I get to touch myself. Yeah. Uh, well, my spells are not working. You know what? I no. I I'm not even bothering with this. Let's go. Do you don't want to check it out? You can check it out if you want to. I'm just going. To let everyone report back. Uh, should we check it out, guys? <laughs> Maybe we should. We, do you think we should? But yeah, let's, 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 let's just go take a look. Let's, let's go take a look. Uh, fuck you guys. Let's go take a look. South. Down south. <laughs> Where south. are we going? South. Down south. south. <laughs> wow, you guys are really stuck. Where's the other <laughs> I, uh, hey, you know what, man? I, 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 I got, I got punched in the face twice. I, I, got, punched in the face twice. I got punched in the gut once, and also my, I got poisoned as well. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the south then. Aye, aye. The evening air seems to, to carry voices farther. <clears throat> it is the, the open river. And you can hear more and more people arguing from this, this side. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> Alright. This person seems huh. to be cornering. Is this person the same person or a different person? Different. Alright. Shit, never mind. Oi! Where's the shipment? That's what you can hear. Yeah. Is Kenny still is go Kenny's going to move together or just stun? Uh, uh I believe he was following us, right? Huh? Oh no. That's myself well. Why why are you touching yourself while moving? <laughs> oh man, only five. That sucks. I can I Internet lagging. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll move your token to together with the people. Eh? Mm. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Here we are. And you can see some people ganging up on one of the dog workers. The dog workers are trying to move some of the barrels from the ships. There's a little bit inside of me that says, throw the bottle, throw the bottle. <laughs> ah, but I have to resist it. God damn it. Ah, seeing this, I know where this is going, so, ah, boys. I move up and take a look, see at the situation, and I'm here. Uh, do they notice me? They seem to be intent at ensuring the the dog worker comply with their instructions. All right, I take out my hand crossbow. Oh, yeah. I shoot this guy. Wah! Wow. Shoot the ghost. Yep. What? 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 Really? Shoot the ghost. Yep. I'm too shoot tired it. for this shit. What the hell? Okay. So that means I have advantage on attack. Uh, I think okay. I take the line. Oh, advantage. So it's 18. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Luckily, otherwise you, you attack, tapi <laughs> you miss. <laughs> that was, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> so, 18, right? Uh, yes. Wait, you're not, you're, not, you're not going to listen to the situation first? No, nope, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just so fed up right now. I want to kill people. 
Okay, but I'm not staying if this thing goes bad. Oh, I'll be no first to run. <laughs> your crossbow bolt uh, pierced his carotid artery. <laughs> <laughs> and his neck. He just, Oi! That guy shot me! Oops! I'm sorry! I'm st- I don't know how to use this thing! Oh! I'm really, really sorry! The other two just look at, at the blood spurting from his companion like you know? what what what's going on bert uh let's see what can i do now uh okay right. with that um, initiative <laughs> so anyway uh remember to click your icon and then click on the button he did <coughs> Twenty-one, yay! Fifteen. Oh no! Uh, well, not that bad for Rex. I mean, he oh, if he doesn't have that. Built then, it's no point. Okay, 3, 15, 14, alright. So, here we go. Mm. That guy was suddenly bleeding for, for no apparent reason. Car. Your turn. I try to defuse the situation, I guess. Like, Guys, hi everyone, what's happening there, over there? You, you were in front and then moved back. <laughs> what's happening over there, guys? What? What's all the fuss all about? Yeah, are you using your action for that? Uh, can I, can I, can I, do I need to use my action for that? That's one action and one, re- <laughs> one. Okay, I try, I try to defuse the situation. I'll use my action for that. Uh, I'll, I'll ask them. What's happening all over there? Why is, why is everyone making such fuss? How do you defuse the situation when somebody was <laughs> shot? It's a confusion, right? Suddenly someone arguing, a lot of people are arguing, and suddenly someone got shot. Like, what happened? You know? They were still they were still confused. That's oh. right now. Okay, are you ending your turn? No, Alright. Leona. Hmm. Okay, give me you a just, second. You just come in and shot somebody. <laughs> now it's still your turn. Alright, um I am Give me a second, I need to pull out the ruler. Yes. Ah, Alright, so I need to be there. And what was the thing again? Uh, ah, okay. Alright, um, I am going to move back a bit here. And I'm going to throw one Molotov cocktail here. But this guy is, is in initiative? No way, you check this person, eh? Hmm, no, I'm, what, what, what? what? The guy here. Mm-hmm. Isn't he, he uh, is an innocent person? Yes. And? The Molotov cocktail hits him? Oh, I mean, he can just jump into the river. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, never mind. Then we're going to fight some water zombie. And, uh, it's still fresh. So, yes, I shall throw the cocktail into the area here. So that would uh, spread out to 20 feet. So, yep. what was it again? What's the damage again? Uh, that would be... Uh, make sense. Ah, they must make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw of or take 1d8 fire damage on a 6. Okay, so I'll throw the 1d8 first. So, total 7 damage. On the foot, the thug here? On the AOE. Ah, 7 damage all, all around? Uh, yes, on the 20 foot area. That okay. includes this guy. 
ha, 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 so seven damage to him, seven damage to him, or uh, half the damage if they failed the. Uh, what was it again? Dexterity? Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity, yes. Uh, DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Ah, on the spot. So, he took half, right? Yep. So, another three more. Alright. Okay, this guy is going to do that. Ooh. Let's see. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Come on now. Oh, he saves. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> the 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 Molotov uh, exploded in a ball of fire around him. He was stunned at the spectacle that unfolds in front of him. As the uh, the fire almost engulfs him, he just deftly jump into the water. Whoosh. Luckily, he was a dog worker, so he knows how to swim. What but about the rest? The rest are engulfed, partially in flames. Uh, in flames, uh, they are burning. They were screaming. It's utter confusion all around. The guy that you shot the first time around mm -hmm. is screaming in pain. Uh, he was still spurting blood, but some of his wounds is now categorized by the flames. Oh, that's good. <laughs> He's not bleeding to death then. Uh, GM, uh, was I yep. was I here or here? I was here, right? You were here. All oh, right, okay, cool. Yep. Uh, is that your action? Uh, that's my action, and as a for for movement, I'll move another ten back. Okay. Sorry, uh, I have that was uh, twenty, right? I was here. I move here. I got ten. Move here. Ah. I'll move inside then. Yeah, I have enough space to move inside. Right. Yeah. They they they'll stay. You move to an area where they usually keep uh, some of the the wares that they move from the ships. Uh, there are some some gunny bags. There are some some wares there, uh, some rugs on the floor, and there are some rolled parchments or even leather, uh, rolled leathers stacked at one corner. Hmm. All right. Uh, just asking. Uh, is is this barrel? Is it flammable? You are, you are not sure. Ah, okay, cool, cool. No problem. I will end my turn there. You will end your turn there. Okay, sure. Uh, as for the audience at home, I pick my head out <laughs> so I can see what's going okay. on. Okay. All right. Can you roll a perception? Perception me? Yes. Uh, by the way, I'm inside, so I won't notice much. Yep. No worries. 16. You notice uh, something is a bit off with some of the carpet there. Oh no. Alright. So, the thug here will just. Oi! Somebody shot us and. Ah! And that this I think is them. This is fascinating. Give me a second because. Uh, da, 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 on his turn, he needs to make a. Yeah, he needs to make a dexterity save, constitution saving throw, or be set on fire. 
this one d4. Oh! Vicious saving the throw, is it? Vicious? Oh, that's me, sorry. Um. Well, sorry, my bad, because uh, it's... It's you, right? Yeah, sorry. Um, so, the fire lasts for four rounds. And then, uh, creature begin the turn. They need to make a DC 12 saving throw. Uh, if not, take 1d8 fire damage at the end of each of their turns. So, yes, uh, either he can jump into the water or take 1d8 damage at the end of his turn. Okay. So, my bad. So, uh, fire is last for 4 rounds. Okay. All rounds, sure. So, uh, is it what constitution saving throw or what? Uh, is it that said? Creature That's that right? begins their turn with this, uh, in this area must make a DC 12 constitution saving throw or be set on fire. Ah, okay, taking he, he rolled a uh, he rolled 22. a 20. Mm, so, um, yep. he doesn't get fired then. <laughs> yeah, he managed to put out. Being far and, and fast really helped him. He looks at anyone that seems to be in the general direction of where the attack came from and shoots at Chen Chen. 17. Chen Chen, what's your AC? Oh no, I cannot. I'm inside, cannot see. Damage 5. Was it? Yeah, that's uh, 5 damage. Oh, yes, 5 piercing damage. Uh, and he will just wallop you. Attempt to wallop you. Oh, he has two, two attacks. He does. Ah, fascinating. <laughs> he misses. The other thug that was shot and on fire. Apparently, okay, he has to do a saving throw, right? Uh, yes, con. DC 12 con save. Hmm. Like I said, the, the blood that he spurted from his wound managed to put out the fire. <laughs> A lot of <laughs> Okay, he will just attack. Oh, I... Yes. The second one hits, right? Yes. The second one hits. Hits for 5 damage. Chen, you have a chance to respond to that, to that attack. Ooh. Ooh. Spirit Guardians. Practice creatures. Speed is half in the area. Okay. Where is the area? Is it near there? It can fit for me. Okay. So the damage is 10. So they need to make a this. I want wisdom saving show. Oh, okay. So this, the guardian. Holy crap, 3d8, right? Yep. It's all of them. 3d8, yeah. holy shit. I think 15 remains here. At least two. <clears throat> Which one? These two? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're both in front of me. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so they have to do a okay swimming throw. Wow, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but but fifteen feet, right? No, within the fifteen feet. So and for them, like my team members are null to it. I can make them don't have to do it. Oh, twenty feet. Okay, it's not. Fifteen, yet. fifteen, fifteen. It's fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen feet okay. radius. All right. So, so they have to do a DC saving throw of fifteen. Ooh, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, the guy on top. Save. Oh. Yeah. Chen Chen, throw. Chen Chen, roll three d eight. Yeah, it's already wis. They need to do wisdom. Wisdom, go ahead. Dex. Ah, let's see. Da da da. Wisdom. They need to do. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah, it needs to be 15. Yeah, it needs to be 3 Yeah, it needs to be 3 No, it, it's already it's a roll. It's already a roll. Yeah, yeah. DC 15 wisdom, remember uh, the top one? Mm-hmm. DC no, no, 15. Uh, uh, the, the damage, you need to roll for damage. Oh, done. Yeah, it's already, damage already. Uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Oh. 5 plus 3, 3 plus, plus 2. 2. 10. Okay, that was, that was quite low, bro. Okay. Okay. Uh, he fit, he... Wisdom. He's not wise enough to, to understand what's going on. And he took the damage full on. This guy. Save. Oro. Oro. Nani. Oh. They get beaten up by ghosts. <laughs> Nani kore. Ah, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Wrong character. <laughs> Sorry. This guy seems to be... be beaten up by his own guilt. <laughs> For no apparent reason. And he seems to be really bad. He was shot, burned, and now beaten by ghosts. <laughs> <coughs> so Chen, anything else that you want to do? Disengage and call. Oh no. So, hey, no, no, I'm going to stay there. Because after this, when they start their turn, they need to safe. Okay. As long as, they, as long as they are within the area of effect. Okay. Right. So that's my turn. My turn. All right. Tennis, your turn. You want to do anything? Fire arrow. Pew! Tennis, please don't roll one. <laughs> hey, we have to roll fumble for some time. Oh, not 20! Not 20, yeah. Oh, that no. is such such a force that he was thrown back. Dead. Kadunk. The second one then. Yeah, the second one. Come on, come on. Ooh, okay. It hit him full. Yep, it hits him full on. He is really, really reeling from from the the damage that I, that your arrow pierced him. But he's still standing, barely. Barely. Anything else? Done. Oh, done. All right. So, Doug. Doug three. This guy. Uh, do I need to do anything? Well, uh, uh, creature that begins, sorry, um, creature that begins a turn, uh, within yeah, the area must, must make a okay. DC 12 constitution saving throw or be set on fire. Okay, that's a constitution saving throw? Yep, be set on fire, 1d8, give me a second. Wow. Okay. Oh, 5 damage. And, and wisdom also. Yeah, we didn't just occur. Oh, uh, so he took 10, right? Yep. Oh, constant 10. Wow. Alright, so he took the damage from the fire and also the, the ghost walloping. <laughs> the but he still managed to, to swing his mace. And does it hit you? Uh, yeah, sure. What's that, uh, the... Oh, miss. 17, uh, yeah, yeah. It's hit. The mace hits. 
hits you once. He at, he swings again. Oh no. 12 miss. Oh, no, miss. Thank God. Oh. For the one for damage. Yeah, right. the first one's for damage. Alright. Alright. Call. Now it's gonna. Call. Finish them all. Uh, but don't I, know why. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Ah. I'm Holy shit. Heal. You just. You just, you just kill, almost kill the guy. Heal. Heal people. Right off. Huh? Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna do Eldritch Blast for the first guy. Uh, is it hit? I don't think so. 10. Huh. Is, the first one, is it here? This guy? Yeah, the first one. Well... Hmm. Well, he's not really worrying much. It does hit, surprisingly. <laughs> and it, it kills him. Wow. Uh, the second guy? Second one hits. And it burns through his eyebrow. Ooh. He's the only one left now. Is he, so, so he's still alive, right? He is. Okay, push back 10, 10 feet. 10, 10. Attack of opportunity. Nice. Where yeah. am I? Yeah, he's away from you, so now you can beat him up. Got push away from you. So I can cast a spell or I just can cast a spell, right? attack. It's an attack. It's an attack. Attack, attack opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> attack with your mace. Sword? What do you carry? With whatever you or with your slap or your fist. Yeah, you can fist him as well. Oh my. Fist him hard. <laughs> oh my. I think you have you have a you have a sword or mace, right? Oh, no. oh it's a hit. Is it? I think. Just ten hit. Is it? Oh yeah, ten oh, okay. does hit. Ten. That's it. Okay. And yeah, it just grazes him, but still, a hit is a hit. Alright, Carl, anything else? Uh, that's it. Well done. <coughs> Back into position. Okay. okay. Leona. So, looking around the place, I'm. Didn't notice anything serious, but I do kind of feel like that rug is moving. So, as a bonus reaction, I don't know, uh, as an action, I disengage and I head out. And then, good, uh, that, right? okay, good that you do because the rug started. <laughs> moving aggressively trying to, to snare you but you managed to evade it uh, alright so um, between uh, Chen and Carl who is hurt more? I think maybe Carl I don't know but he restored his HP right? I mean, uh, Chen, Carl is quite hurt but it's not badly hurt alright what about you Chen? There is half HP. I think you're good. So I shall back up uh, Carl's here and end my turn because I already took. Uh, sorry, no. As a bonus action, I took this. I, I disengage. Then disengage. It, disengage is an action. Uh, right? If I. Uh, I level up uh, second level in. Rogue, so that gives me cunning action. How does that work? Or does it only work in combat? Uh, this section can be only used to... Sorry, you can take a bonus action on each of your turn in combat. 
Oh. This action can only be used to take the dash, disengage, or hide action. Okay. So, disengage. how do you want to rule it? Uh, disengage has a bonus action. Alright, okay. So, okay. Uh, I go behind Carl and I. Uh, this thing. No. I just push it. cast. Push him. <laughs> I wish! Uh, no, I cast healing words. <clears throat> So, I cast healing words, I tell Carl, Carl, you're a great tank and you can do anything. I cast it at level 1. So, 1d4. 1d4 I, plus my... Yeah, what, the, what the fuck, man? Oh, 4 max, and then plus my spellcasting ability modifier. Uh, ability modifier would be charisma, so charisma is 4? So, total 8? Is that right? Is that how you work, Jam? Okay, well, your choice. 1d4 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. And then uh, it says spellcasting ability is charisma. Your charisma is plus 4, is it? Yes. Okay, 8 ah. Uh. Okay, so that's how it's done. Alright, cool, cool. So yes, I heal you for 8, new tank. And with that... And then, and then you push him. To the friend. <laughs> I don't do it. If you want to do it, do it. My my guess. <laughs> uh, with that, I end my turn. All right. And you, as you end your turn, this thing started flapping around and attempt to do something fun. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! It's a magic rug. Oh, yes, smaller. you can see a whole new world with it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, who is it attacking? Oh god damn it. Leona, why you always bring trouble to us? <laughs> I don't know. It is. You will attack at 21. Yes. Oh god. They are not need to do a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You are smothered. <laughs> but the safe wisdom saving throw. So wait, um, it's... Uh, oh yeah, yes, just do wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC 15 or take 10 damage. Or half. Uh, holy crap! What the hell? Uh, crap. You are grappled. Here. He can do the roll now, right? Or is it later? Do 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 a you can do a strength check. Uh strength it, check. As grapple escape, DC thirteen until the grapple ends, the target is restrained. Okay, you can do a uh, strength check. Strength DC thirteen. It's Dex, right? Strength or Dex? Both. I'm not sure. Come over. I think it's strength, if I'm not mistaken. Until this grapple ends, the target is restrained. <laughs> <laughs> it is the way. He smacks the carpet away and tells no. him to go. <laughs> Just <laughs> strong. <laughs> Mando is strong. Truly body hunter. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he just crossed his arms. And he is not grappled anymore. <laughs> Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Chen, your turn. Wait, the carpet needs to take a... Yeah, the carpet right? needs to do a wisdom saving throw. This, oh, the carpet. I'm afraid to... to I, I cannot braid the... Carpet have a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> I mean, if you yes. really, if you really want to see dumb things, take a look see at uh, Critical Role season three, episode one. That 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 first fight there was dumb. <laughs> okay, wisdom saving throw thirteen. Uh, <laughs> no, nope. it takes ten damage. Ten damage. <coughs> <laughs> From that, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Part of uh, his is the edges, the tassels. Uh, ripped 
are ripped apart by the sudden surge of strength that the bounty hunter <laughs> did to him. Oh no. It. it. Alright. Chen, your turn. Okay, my turn. I think, uh... Is your stand a concentration spell or is it a... It's a concentration. Uh, up to 10 minutes, so you can do other spells. I guess you can hit it. But I can still cast a cantrip, right? Not mistaken? Concentration. If you cast another spell, your spell, even though if it's a cantrip, your main spell ends. Uh, you can only maintain one, one, one concentration spell. Yes. Wait, you, you can it still requires concentration. If there's concentration in the spell, right? If not, you yeah. can do it? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So I only mean, one... Let's say magic missile and then you, it doesn't require concentration because you have already unleashed it. You can do another cantrip. Yeah. For example. But you have to... If it's a spell that requires uh, concentration to maintain, you have to con fully concentrate. <laughs> You just cannot have you have the other hand texting or doing TikTok. <laughs> or oh, Vine. Yeah, Vine, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the old. I know. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I can see if I get an arrow, right? Ding, 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 ding. Where's my light first go? Something. <laughs> oh, that's a hit. I'm going to aim it at the carpet. Carpet, the carpet. Carpet. Okay. Yes. The rug. Oh, okay. It, it does hit. <laughs> it pierces the rug <laughs> through and through. The rug seems to be uh, struggling as if it's uh, an agony hmm. from all the holes that it was poked into it and the ripped parts of it. <laughs> it does seem to struggle. Anything else, Jen? We're just sitting in the ground. Alright, so Kenis, the bounty hunter. Who? Oh. You attack it. Who? Alright. Again, you slashed it mercilessly. You cut bits and pieces of the rug up, down, diagonally. Boop. Anything else? You have more than one attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, this is double attack, right? Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> well, damn, this guy's hardcore. Them. Yeah, Them. something like the word chinchang comes to mind. As if you, you really tear it to pieces, you, you, you try to make means cut out of it, not means meat. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel like my rolls are shit compared to yours. <laughs> it's okay. okay. My rolls are, are so bad. Anything else? Kenis? Done. All right, done. Uh... DC 12 Constitution, please. Save. No. Okay, bye bye. DC 12 Con is 11. Nope, just one away. And then uh, 1d8 fire damage. Is there already? Oh, just then, uh, 1d8 fire damage. 1d8 fire damage. Just two. Ah, oh, boy. But still, chance. Uh, Special thing will trigger. Third degree burns, fourth degree burns, and this is when you see somebody's face really melting. Oh man. Oh, he wasn't the one that got shot. Alright. So at the back. Oh no. Is he still alive? He is. So. But he needs to do a wisdom? Bro. Oh yeah, for you, what? your thing. <laughs> yeah, my thing is still on. <laughs> you did not. You did you? Okay, you did not cast anything. So, yeah, wisdom. 
Which means the spell is still in effect, right? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yep, the spell is still in effect. Because yeah, so he shot what, 10, the carpet it? with an arrow, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah. You have never seen anyone being pummeled by ghosts and evil melting. So he melted. <laughs> oh, I regret nothing. Kind of visually, made my best. <laughs> Ah, ah. You, you kind of re- something like Indiana Jones comes to mind. The face melts. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Remember that the mm. tem- uh, not, not not the Temple of Doom, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh man, that that was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was on fire. Oh, true. Literally. <laughs> All right, call. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'll, I'll just pass to this. Okay. Do your worst. Don't tempt me. Yeah. It, is, it is being <laughs> torn, torn and cut to pieces. Ooh, Eldritch plus 18. Okay. Hits, force of 7. Hard or can... It, it hits the whatever remains of the, the rock. And with that, it just exploded into lots of threads. It's like confetti. Hmm. So the first seven finish it off or Yep, the first seven finish it off. Pew, pew. It's like a, a, a explosion of confetti. Now hmm. everybody is uh, covered with confetti made of carpets and rock. Yeah carpets. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, I'll rush into poop to We'll pull up the dog guy. Oh, you just rush in without asking his, his initiative over, eh? <laughs> How brave. Oh. <laughs> and now we really call that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to wait for the fire to die down. I'll take fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, let's go. Uh, yeah. So I'm really guessing the fire's died down. And then, alright, I'm going to go and see this guy. Hello, sir. How's everything? Who? Who are you? Well, judging by the thugs that... He was that... breathing heavily. <sighs> judging by the thugs that were on deck, um, well, sorry, on port. I'm guessing we are your saviors. Oh. We are just... These people have, have been harassing us for weeks. Well, not weeks. Lately, I think several days now. I see. And let me guess, you're transporting oil? How do you know? I had a feeling. But anywho, uh, um, those people are dealt with and... Well, yeah, um, you can... Proceed with caution. That and also just bring the oil back to Legofort. Oh. Yeah, we did. We we're just unloading when they started jumping on us. Yeah, I, Fred. I, there, he motioned at the the guy that is soaked wet, soaking wet, and also burned a bit out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, well, luck, you're lucky. The fire did not reach the barrel. Yeah. I mean... Otherwise, we'll have a tower, uh, an inferno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that fire was just something else. But, well... Okay. Well, you should say that. You're the one who threw it. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> but still, I'm um, glad that things are okay now. And he you tells can... Fred, you're all right. Ah, well, uh, I had to jump. Yes, jump. You jump, I jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But anywho, um, how you say that they've been harassing you for about for uh, about almost a week. Well, about that, I think before that, they usually they they ask for tolls and levies and all that. But lately, everybody seems to be interested in 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 oil. Ah, yeah, I mean, winter is here and people do need the heat. Yeah, I don't know why, but they seems to be taking our stocks for no reason. Oh, 
All right. Do you need any protection to bring your stocks to town? Yeah, please. Yeah, after all this, I don't think we can have that. Can 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 you just sort of uh, escort us as we proceed to have this? Sure, I sure. I think we have about several barrels here. Sure. If you don't mind me asking, could you offer me ten bottles of oil? Well, I, I, the town is paying a hefty sum for this oil. Seems I, like everybody wants it. Uh, is there a shortage? I'm not hundred percent sure. I mean, the is there a war here that that there's embargo on oil supply or something? No. Nah. Seems like everybody wants. I, I'm oil. not sure. Um, I'm too been looking for oil and I, I ain't getting much. I mean, if you would please, um, I, I mean, I'm not asking for much. I don't know. I can, I can give, I can, I think I can. 10 is a bit a lot. Uh, half of it probably? How about four? I can just scoop some from this barrel and then that barrel and then this barrel. It won't be noticeable. We can call it lost during transport. <laughs> four will be enough. Thank you very much. Four then. All right? Yeah. Four bottles. Okay. Thank you very much, right. sir. Anyway, um, uh, our escort. Um, yeah, we will escort you to town. No problem. Good, good. Ah, so glad. Those thugs and the, their their kind seems to be taking our stock before we even manage to send it into town, and without even paying. Do you know who they're working for? I don't know, but usually, well, Fred there was heading the last shipment. Maybe he knows. All right. I I just came here today. All right. Thank you very much, and you take care of yourself. Um. Once yeah, everything's I, ready, I still need to load two, two of these barrels out. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get you some extra hands. All right, be safe. With that, I head out and uh, go to Rex and Chen. Uh, Rex, if you don't mind helping the guy in the boat uh, move some items because uh, he needs the extra help. Thank you. And I move to Chen. Hey, Chen. Could you help the guy at the boat? He needs to move some items, if you don't mind. See that passage down there? Hmm? A mouse, like inside the building. Is this a passage? Like the... Uh, I'm not sure. Like the walk, sure. walk with you? Oh, you're asking GM? Actually, it looks like... Well, it's... It's like a stack of guni sacks. Mm. It's full of wool. Wool. Yep. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's uh. It's just a stash of oh, guni okay. sacks full of wool. Oh. It's three black wool, one for my master, one for my friend. From Baba the... Black Sheep. <laughs> All right, so with that, I'm going to talk to Fred. Fred, right? That's his name? Yep. Hey, Fred, um, are you okay? <laughs> cool, cool. Winter water, cool. Ah, I see. But anywho... He, he, he's almost blue from hypothermia. da 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 but anywho, Fred, jump Fred, into the water in the, in the frigid winter. Uh, what do you expect? Or be burned alive, either or. So anywho, um, Fred. It, it, hmm? I, I, I'm thinking of a song of there's a fire and there's ice. I'm forming ice <laughs> on my ice on my nose. <laughs> um, I'm going to rub my hands <laughs> together <laughs> and kind of try to emanate some heat out of my hands. Just trying to warm him up. That's so naughty. Yeah. So, does it work? 
What what is JJ doing? <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Well, you Take the road, man. Really, <laughs> you are not really made for manual Strength. labor. <laughs> but anyway, Niku, um, so it, your your back hurts a bit. <laughs> so, Frank. Oh. Um, those guys just now. Um, the guy in the boat. He said that they've been harassing you for almost a week now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, funny. Usually the the guy in the mask comes. <laughs> Luckily, not here today. In the mask. <laughs> yeah, very hey. white. All white and wears a mask. Um, what do you? Um, what what do you? What does he? What does he want? Oil, stuff. oil, whatever. More, more interested in oil. Really now. So this has been happening for a week now. Hmm? I think several days, ever since those rumor about that fire starter guy thing. Hmm. Ooh, okay. that's better. All right, all right. So those thugs were working with the guy in the mask. Well, he, not sure. Usually, he is the one who seems to give orders and they follow. I see, yeah. and he's not here today, then. I don't see him. <laughs> ah, that's better. Much better. Fire, fire, good. All right, all right. Yeah, you you warm up, Fred. You you warm up. I'll go help the. Oh no, <laughs> um, he, um, I go help the rest of the guys um, to unload the items. Have a good day, Fred. With that, I move. Yeah, for me, for me, I'll be checking on the bodies as well. Oh okay. yeah, there's bodies. Uh, and also while well. While they were talking to, um, sorry. While Leona was talking to the, I guess the merchant. I I want to talk. I want to talk to this guy, Fred. And ask him what what's happening. Uh, so what those start first. So before I, it's so okay. Uh, it's in between the night. Yeah, it's in between that. So I'm asking him about all, all right. those things. Cool, cool. To learn more about the ducks. and yeah, after that I'll I'll just do, try and check on the bodies. Uh, see if you can find it. Okay. Because I because I'm very curious of who who they are actually. What well, you? It seems like a normal thug. I think you have fought some of them before. Do they have a leader? Yes, Joffrey. The, the Joffrey is acolyte, but we do not know if they are the ones who command the thugs. Guy in the mask wearing all white. Okay, your search towards the bodies. There's three of them. There is one spell scroll. Ooh. But it's empty spell scroll. Ooh, a free spell. Usually it's a free spell slot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there's two potion of healing. Yeah. It's as if they are expecting to, to be walloped from time to time, so they have that. Two oh, potions, right? Boy, um, could we get the body, please? Uh, it's okay. I can just. This might Um. So yeah. Um. I asked, Sorry. Go ahead. I I I asked Fred. I asked Fred. You know if uh why why is there a magic carpet in the warehouse? Because everybody wants to see the whole new world on the magic carpet, right? Mm, that's oh, that's true. That's the thing. Usually they put there as security in case somebody foolish enough to take whatever that has been temporarily stored there. I think that's uh, a mechanism we don't want. We we don't go there. We avoid it. I stare at Leona. I was like, mm -mm, yeah. And then I... Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. I think I know a perfect role for this. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I do notice it. And I wave. Hello. You notice what? I notice uh, Carl looking at me. And I wave back. 
<laughs> yeah, I, let's, 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 let's deal with the bodies first. I don't want to enter the zombies as well. I give us another another round of combat. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you throw all three bodies into the the fire. fire. Yep. Yeah. Right. Was, it, was gasping. <gasps> what you do that for? Heathens. I pat, I pat his back. You know. Ugh. Strange things are about, my friend. Trust me. This is better for us. Why you do that? They should well, be accorded a proper burial. <laughs> well, well, Fred, I got some news for you. The dead walks among us now. Among us? Ready, sus. <laughs> Sassy baka. Alright, uh, so I'm just going to assume that half an hour to an hour pass as we help the dog workers. What? You, you, you say the Grateful Dead is here? <laughs> That's a nice band. <sighs> well, I, I tell, I tell Fred what's happening, lah. Basically, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. So wait, you, you really? I thought the the graphic that is coming here for a concert, something. Okay. Yay! Uh. So anywho, um, I'm just gonna assume that an hour's pass as we try, uh, we help this guy. To load and unload his oil barrel into some kind of cart with horses? Yes. Alrighty then. So, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, um, that's done, I guess. So, after all that, um, what do? Oh, yeah, um, you know what? I'm just going to. Uh, I do not have proficiency in. Does anybody have proficiency in um? Uh, Am I handling? No. I, I do. Um. Yeah. Uh, driving a cart. <laughs> I, I I have prof I have skills in land vehicles. Yeah. Uh, okay. You, you you take control. I I I shotgun. <laughs> Alright, so you escort in the fading light. You escort the Fred and his friend back to town, right? Yep, yep. Um, yep. I, do they go to Lenevier's place or is do they need to drop it off somewhere else? They are going to the okay. Usually they go to the shipyard, but this thing is a special order from, from the army. Mm, okay, so we escort them to the drill field then. Yes. And by this time, it's about quite late now. What does clock say? Whew, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. It's nine p.m. All uh, right. So. As we arrive safely, I hope. <laughs> but yes. Um, I dismount the carriage and I head inside the barracks to report to Lenever. Then, Lenever was was standing. Oh. Yes, yes, inside. You burst the door open. You just push it. I did Almost burst. hitting him. <laughs> almost hitting him in in the, in the face. Oh, sorry. But, um, ta-da! As I show him the cart of oil. Wow. What's this? Confetti? Were you having a party? Ugh, you could say that. But anywho, um, we managed to get the oil. That he looks at Chen. You, you look, look worse from where? What? What'd you do? Took an arrow in the knee? <laughs> that seems to be the team. <laughs> looks at Carl. Well, you, you look like normal. <laughs> That's a statement. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Daniel. So, anywho, yeah, um, uh, if you want to inspect the uh, barrel, uh, you're most welcome to. Um, if you're done, we want to report back to you. Barrel? Barrel? What barrel? Barrel of oils. We managed oh. to get it. Outside? Is it outside? Yes. 
he, 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 he just rush past the door and then looks at Fred. Oh, Fred. Hey, what happened to all of the order that we had? And then, and then he turns to you. What what has been going on? This this order has been overdue for some time. Is he talking to Fred or talking to Leona? You, Leona. Oh, talking to you. Right. Looking at you. Are you not looking at me? No, because he was talking to Fred. So I was wondering, like, why he turned to me? Because I was about to report. <laughs> yeah, I'm t- uh, talking to you. <laughs> um... You see, Fred, he's half frozen. Oh, I just have to. He has to let it go. <laughs> oh boy. Or, um. Well, if you have time, we can go back to your office and we can report in. Uh, Fred, <laughs> bring Fred in. Oh, okay. Um, he needs something warm. A warm mug of ale or something. Yep, yep. Warm, warm, warm. And dry clothes. Oh yeah, that too. So yeah, yeah um, we all we all do that. Uh, we carry Fred in, uh, put him into a very warm spot, give him a cup of hot water, and yeah, yeah we go up to the um, waiting. Oh, no, um, his office, the, the nervous office. All right. Yep. Yep. So. So report. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I almost forgot. He barked at some orders uh, at his underling, saying that secure the oil, keep it safe, keep it hidden, keep it safe. Hmm. All right. So I take a look here around the room. Um, is it okay to talk now? Yeah. Should be. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me inspect. He went out to the back. Windows that goes towards the river that opens towards River Road. Make sure that it's secure. Okay, sure. Right. I'm not. I don't trust this window anymore. <laughs> yeah, that that window is not good. But anywho, um, reporting back from well, uh, from the very top, um, uh, I take a look see at Carl and the guys. Um, I cast message to Carl asking him should we talk about the meeting with the marshal or not yep I, I nod my head alright oh. so uh, the meeting with the marshal went well marshal uh, sorry um, three, th- three things I don't want to talk about the marshal one I don't want to talk about religion with him he has a different faith than me mm-hmm. two we don't talk about politics mm-hmm Three, we don't talk about Bruno. Who? We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but anywho, um, uh, the meeting with the marshal went well, and here's a strange thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure how true it is, but it seems that he's Felix's father. You don't see. That's all this we... Is like a, this is like a telenovela. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but um, we're not hundred percent sure how next, true. Or... Next thing you say, he is a long lost son or something. Who, uh, Felix? Probably. <laughs> um, wow. But um, but on the Marshall's end, um, we got no idea if it's true or not. But he did want to meet us about Felix. That's about it. Well, this this beats a a, <laughs> a good telenovela. What do you see later? Oh. Somebody's mother is somebody's wife. <laughs> nah, man. Like I'm, I'm. Who has amnesia? I, I'm just expecting there's a evil twin of Felix going around killing people and whatnot, and he's of the opposite fate. Mm. Mm. But anyway, um, that's uh, the marshal. Um, on I the wonder he is interested about this. He has been asking me about Felix nonstop. Yeah, that's the thing, and we we didn't really say much that we want to incriminate, but long story short, we just tell him the truth about Felix being a way out of Tigerford. That's about it. About his ailment, uh, we didn't really say much. Ailment, eh? <laughs> that's an understatement of the year. Yeah. Um, that's uh, that's the Marshall story. Um, 
the other part is that we got jumped by people from Karatur. Wait, 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 hold on. We served in the army together. When did he ever had the time to procreate? Hmm. I don't. <laughs> you ask me. I'm still asking. When does he had a? When does Felix had a dad? He always told me that he was he was an orphan, and um, Mr. McMahon took him in. Probably, probably some secret party. You're not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, anyway, anyway uh, go on, go on. So anyway, uh, we this sort of blows my mind. <laughs> I know. Uh, we we managed to go to the port and um, did a bit of investigation. Uh, we didn't manage to meet up with the portmaster, or did we? GM, did we manage to meet the portmaster? No. No. Okay. So yeah, uh, we didn't manage to meet with the portmaster, but while investigating, we. We got jumped by some um, immigrants from Karatur. <laughs> immigrants? <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. Uh, we got the bruises to prove it. Especially Carl there. So, they don't come here much. Well, usually they're, only they're traders. They, but then, then again, they don't come west. True, but here's the thing. Um, what we met was not traders, but mostly skilled fighters. And what worries me is that most of their fighters were monks. And but I'm at a did loss. Did somebody burn uh, monks? Did somebody burn their temple or something? I don't know. They they seem to hit pretty hard, rough and hard, but right now um, we we were incapacitated by them, and they wanting their goals back. But here's the thing: um, it seems that they might be working for someone. I'm not just sure. Carl, what do you think? Uh, I I don't know. They seem to be skilled assassins. Uh, assassins, you see. I am not sure, but they were not intent on killing us. That's for sure. It's different from the ones that we encountered earlier. This this batch of people only interested in taking their money back. Which lines up with their country's policy about not spreading out their wealth but who how like that's the thing um who did he work for well you see you they, they, they took back whatever coins that they have yeah from like, from there like i had yeah, 10 as in the one i have in my locker I motioned, the locker? I, I motioned to uh, Lenevere by putting my index finger on my lips. They might be hearing us. So, um, besides that, uh, we got beat up. Um, all of the character goal we had was taken away. Um, a grand total of... I had 10. Carl, you had what? how many? Four? Six? Uh, give me a moment. I can't remember. Uh, check. Chen Chen? How much you have? Four. 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 Eight. Eight. Eighteen. Oh, eight, I had nine. Nineteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Yeah. Um, a grand total of twenty-seven cartoon coins. Um, I'm, I believe Shadow had some and also Camille. But... Not hundred percent sure. Like, um, I guess they have some. Probably, maybe. By the way, where are they? Especially uh, that that your wrapped up friend, the uh, Shadow. We're not sure. Um, he we haven't seen him in a while. I hope nothing right. bad happens to him. 
May, may he be taken by them? Probably not. He is much more resilient than that and skillful to be taken just like that. But we'll have to wait. Maybe we'll just have to wait on him. He's a very mysterious person. Yeah, but, actually, 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 he went to KL, so he won't be able to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. But anywho, um, besides that, um, after all that happened, we managed to got ourselves into a scuffle with some thugs and managed to, well, kind of liberate them from, sorry, kind of stop them from harassing Fred from spreading the oil. So yeah, um, it seems that the thugs are responsible for the lack of shipment of oil and from the ship's captain, I think? He told me that, what was it? Sorry, um, no, Fred. Fred told me that um, the person that they're working for wears a mask and wears all white. And I guess we all know who that could be. Yeah. Who? Joffrey. Oh, Just Joffrey. Humor me. Joffrey. Wears white uh. and a mask. Well, mm. <coughs> well, so, anyway, can everybody roll perception? Okay, uh, perception. Let's a go. Woohoo! Ooh. Nice. Chen Chen, your turn. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, Leona and, Ken and Kenneth notice when you mentioned Joffrey the commander seems a bit uncomfortable as if it's like a bad memory or something remembering or just trying to and then almost as instantly he managed to regain composure and then looks as if nothing happens serious Hmm. So yeah, um, that that's about all we have to report. Other than that, um, there's nothing much. So you were saying all this time, the shipment of oil has been hijacked by this party, this hooligans. That is what Fred told us. They've been harassing him and taking the oils so yeah feels that way too mm -hmm. oh you seem to have managed to solve one problem and one mystery yes. for this yeah ah. no the, the, the thing why, why didn't fred told us about this earlier why didn't anyone come came to us hey you know what that that is a valid and, and why didn't the port master say anything about this that is valid. Um, didn't you, didn't Daggerford and the port had some kind of division going on? Like, the port's people didn't really trust the people inside Daggerford? I wouldn't call it that. Hmm. Well, um, I have to talk to the port master about this. Do you need some um, extra help from us, or you can... are you good? Well, we can do it tomorrow morning then. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Getting late. That is true, that is true. Wow. And people don't want to go out much at night nowadays. Yes, there's oh! There's no fun, there's no bazaar. Uh, by the way, uh, also we need to report that um, we managed to take out tr the three hooligans or three thugs and managed to dispose of their bodies. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm um, hoping there's no repercussion later on. Well, I think as of, since right now, there is this 
something like a pandemic going on, pandemic of undead. Mm. I think we will have to instill emergency cremations then. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Save space for from our graveyards. Mm-hmm. Man, with how this mess is going about, I I do not even want to think about those who are on their way out. Mm. Well, we have to do more patrols and mm-hmm. more awareness to bring their dead. Oh, I hope they don't bring their want to be dead people <laughs> too. <laughs> and take advantage of this situation. Uh, mm. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because of uh, Monty Python. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's just a flesh wound. So anywho, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, that, that's all we have to report. Unless you guys have anything to add. No, oh, that's good. Well, anyway, I think you have become an official constables or deputies for for me there. Yeah, take this for your trouble. Mm-hmm. He hands out <clears throat> a pouch. Some, <clears throat> I think, something to compensate your losses by. Ah, no problem. Uh, I motion Carl to pick up the pouch. Oh, Carl. Consider what you have encountered as just a flesh wound. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, yes, isn't it? It's just a flesh wound. Anyway, I wink at him. It's just flesh wound. I'm okay. It's just flesh wound. <laughs> Fight me! That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I'm going to watch that again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man, I'll I'll talk about it later. Hmm. But anyway, yeah. So uh, what now? Um, after getting the bag, uh, we head out or what? Where Where will you be staying so that I can summon you? I guess the dagger for in. To, to the dagger for in then. Yeah, okay. currently we're staying at Kadega Fort Inn. Yeah. Trouble at the dorms. I can't repair back. Okay. So. I'll see you later tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Someone for you. Alright. So, yeah, um, we'll we'll be heading out. Good day. And. Good, good night. Oh, yes, good night. And with that, uh, yeah, we head out unless somebody wants to do something. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, anyone? Anything? Nothing more. Uh, nope. I just, I just going to go back and get a rest. Mm. I got pummel. So I got pummel enough times today. <laughs> so as <laughs> we walk to the deck of Inn. So, what did I never give us? Uh, let's, 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 let's check once we're in the inn. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 In cool. our respective rooms. All right. All right. Yeah. And you managed to safely make your way to the Dagger Inn. So by this time around, it's about 10 at night. Mm-hmm. Then um, I greet Lionel. Hello, Lionel. How are you doing? Oh, busy. Um, uh, I think we seem to have more. Oh, um, we seem to have more refugees. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, man. Oh, Do... It seems to be. Uh, do you know why there are more refugees now? No. Um, more. It seems the the word that is gone going is that more creature attacks around the the south of town. Near the Ungols. Yep. Towards there. Okay. Uh, Nasty business. Mm. Being outside. Yeah, I do not want to go outside at night right about now. Well, anywho, uh, do you have a room for two? Oh, they didn't... Your friends took... I only have one, so... Ah, so... I see. Alright, no problem then. Uh, Alright, we'll... We'll see you in the morning. See you, Lionel. Bye. Oh, okay. Take care. Mm. Have a good night then, yeah. monsters. Good night. See, the, the inn is full. Mm. Good night. I know.
So, all right. Yeah. So you all went back to the inn. Yeah, yep. It's, to it's inn. not as lively as you remember at the Dagfon Inn. People are more subdued at night after the mist started appearing and surrounding the town. Mm-hmm. No more, no more happy meals. Uh, it's late night meals. Uh, but it's only takeaway. Take takeaway after ten. <laughs> Oh boy! But we're open until two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Mm-hmm. So, so you all went to your room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your um, single room. Yeah. So and uh, and let's open up and see what uh, what the neighbor gave us. Mm-hmm. Once we are we we lock the room, of course. Mm-hmm. The box contains about hundred and fifty gold pieces. Ah, hundred fifty. Divided oh, that by how many are we? Five. Four. 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 One, two, three. Yep. That would. That's not a nice number. It's not. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I'll just take thirty-six goals. You guys can fight. Thirty-seven and five. Well, we can. Well, if you guys are okay, we can just put the rest in party funds. I'll take. Well, that means 36 goals and 5 silver? No. Yeah, 37 goals, 37 and 5 silver. Yeah, the will take my share, please. Right. So, uh, do update your all of your gold pieces. Silver plus 5. That's 9. And... Da, 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 da. 3 more 9 plus... 37, that would put me at. Okay, cool. So, you are safely uh, in your room. And with that, I think we will... I think because of the bad line connection from Kenneth and, and Chen Chen, I think we will end this uh, session for the night. Okay. Oh, GMs. EXP. Yep. But, okay. But before we end, but before we end, and also EXP, uh, uh-huh. we... We all get ready for bed, um, lock the doors, bar the windows, and so on. And it I think it's a very packed room. I take a bit. The boys can sleep on the ground. Okay. <laughs> you guys can find it out. <laughs> and good night. Okay. And now we gain XP. <laughs> okay, XP. That's funny here. Uh... Well. You each of you gain a, only about hundred and twenty XP. Ooh, ah uh, no, one twenty. All right, yes. cool. But that's for for be defeating the the three thugs. Man, but for for uncovering no. or not covering thing, you get another three hundred XP each. Nice. Hello. Hello. Hello? My, my computer hang. I can't, I can't hear this one. God. What happened? So, PC it hang. Ah. Alright. And, and, and you say you work for Intel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I have to burn you. Not Intel, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, so, 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 so what, what happened this one? Alright, uh, long story short. Uh, we all went to bed. We all got three hundred and sorry, uh, thirty-seven gold and five silver pieces. Uh, for XP, for defeating the thugs, we got one hundred fifty XP. And uh, this is the part where GM wants to say something about how many three hundred XP? Three hundred. Or one twenty. Yeah, three hundred and. Three hundred plus three hundred each. Yay! Three hundred plus one. Plus one twenty. Three hundred plus one. So total four hundred twenty. It's my computer. I can't update it. No, tapo. Uh, everything will be written down on the what you call this roll twenty chart. So yay! Yeah. Okay. Uh, the three hundred is for surviving, surviving the <laughs> the shadow punches. 
and uh, man, that 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 was rough. That was rough. Strong for us, man. That that was strong. It's it's not the strong part. Like their hit is too strong. Like uh, they they have high what you call this uh, attack rates. So yeah, and their 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 hits are just too strong. On a side note, besides that, um, yeah, I knew knew that we were not going to get killed. Just be annoyed. And also, and also for Latino's response, it seems that the guy that you paid didn't go to Latino. Hmm. What the pay? Yeah, remember you paid you paid the guy to send a message to Latino. Yeah, knew knew that was happening. I'll have to kill him later. If I can find the bastard. Ah, Tapa, I already took something out of him, so yeah. That's good. Ah, boy. Anywho, other than that, next week, I guess. Next week's gonna yep. be interesting. Yay. We, oh, next week you get Shadow back. Yay. <laughs> 